Hello everyone, I'm Alex Dykes, and in today's video we're going to be talking about autonomous parking systems. This is a 2014 Cadillac CTS V Sport, and it's equipped with Cadillac's parallel parking system. This means the car will actually parallel park itself as long as you do the pedals as well as the shifter. Autonomous parking isn't new. Toyota started it in 2004 with the 2004 Japanese market Prius, and that car would self-park itself. They then introduced it in the Lexus LS, but honestly, the Toyota and the Lexus systems were really convoluted, and they didn't really work that well. It was not very user-friendly to actually use the system, and nine times out of 10, it was faster to parallel park yourself, even if you were a poor parker. But today, that's different, and the innovations didn't come from the Japanese this time. It came from the Americans. Ford led the pack, and now Ford, General Motors, and Chrysler easily have the best and easiest to use self-parking systems available on the market. They're fast, they're easy to use, and they park the car better than most people probably can. The systems use a variety of sensors to determine the car's location relative to the curb, as well as the other cars in the road. We use the front parking sensors and new side parking sensors right here. These are on the side of the front bumper. You'll also see them in certain other cars on the rear bumper. It appears that Cadillac is using the integrated radar sensor that's part of the cross-traffic alert system in the Cadillac CTS for the side positioning on the rear of the vehicle. Whatever it uses, it uses these sensors to know exactly what that parking space is shaped like. So the system will not only tell you whether you'll fit in the parking spot, but it'll actually guide you in there. Now that you know how the system works, let's take the Cadillac on the road and show you what it does. The big change in these more modern self-parking systems is in the user interface. There's just a single button to click now, this parking button right here. So click the parking button, very similar in the Chrysler and Ford systems. You can use the turn signal to indicate which side of the road you want to park on. The car will do both sides. The car will say it's searching for a spot. It'll let me know when it finds that that spot is the right size. It says stop. We then put it in reverse, take the hands off the wheel, and then we let the car back itself right into the spot. As you can see, the car is doing the steering. You're still responsible for the pedals as well as the shifter. If you're engaging in a relatively difficult parking maneuver, then the car will tell you to stop, go forward, and then it will back up, go forward, back up, go forward, etc., to get itself as optimally in that spot as possible. This modern breed of autonomous parking system, especially in the modern American brands, is definitely an option worth getting in my book. If you frequently parallel park or if you don't parallel park that often and you're just looking for something to help you out a little bit, I think this system makes an awful lot of sense. I parallel park every day and honestly this system typically gets me in the parking spot faster and more accurately than if I did it by myself. I'm not sure whether that means I'm a bad parallel parker or not, but I definitely think this is worth the extra money. It's also very easy to use. Systems in some of the competing luxury brands are not as easy to use as the one in the Cadillac, and that's definitely a selling feature for this particular American car. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Again, I'm Alex Dykes, and I encourage you to click that subscribe banner at the bottom of your screen so you can be updated on all of our latest videos.